Michel Temer presided over the traditional Independence Day parade in the capital, Brasilia. Many booed. Others clapped the new leader Brazilians didn't vote for. In a way, I am happy because if Dilma was in power, our country would be totalitarian, like Venezuela. A few meters from the military march, hundreds of protesters shouted Temer out. Thousands of Brazilians demonstrated in several cities nationwide, demanding Temer's resignation and new elections. We want to protest against the impeachment, which was a fraud. It was a coup. That's why we're here on the streets. To begin taming discontent, Brazil's new president will have to manage the crumbling economy. More than 1.5 million Brazilians lost their jobs last year. His plans may be unpopular. Temer wants to dramatically reduce the annual government budget, affecting housing, agricultural reforms and regional development, among other proposals. It is likely Congress will approve Temer's measures. Analysts say they will demand a lot of sacrifices from the poorest Brazilians, and that's why these people say they will not stop protesting. It's clear he'll abolish the rights gained over the past 15 years. He wants to sell the country. We are afraid of what will happen in the coming months. Critics say the impeachment process has made Brazilians more confrontational. And the protests mark the trend for the new government, which is struggling for popular legitimacy. Mariana Sanchez Al Jazeera, Brasilia, Brazil.